Hey, hey, welcome for this new episode of the weekly newsletter of In The Blocks, which is a weekly newsletter for Ethereum DAB developer. And this week, there is a lot of interesting topics, such as a tutorial on how to build a game with Unity and C Sharp. Uh, there is a new release of Solidity and there is also a video which is an introduction to Drizzle and many other things. So let's get into it. But first, I would like to quickly show you a new system that I created to allow you to vote for the content that you want to see on Eat the Blocks. So I will paste the link to this Google Sheet in the description of this video. And if you want to vote for which kind, which topic you want, then you can put a comment in this video or you can send me an email. I will also put the, my email in the description. And in about one or two weeks, I will see which is the topic that has received the most vote and I will make a video out of it. So this is your chance to give me some feedback and to tell me which kind of, of video you want. All right, let's get started. So this week, uh, my first link, it's an article that I published on my blog and it's basically the top interview questions for blockchain developers. So if you are searching for a crypto job now and you're preparing for an interview, then this is a really good idea to read this article. And even if you're not applying to job now, it's still good to just to like to make sure that you are you, you know you know some uh, block, blockchain concept because maybe in the future you will need to to know them so for example there are some very easy questions like what is the difference between cryptocurrencies and blockchain some market data questions really easy and then some questions that are a little bit more difficult like how does blockchain work what is the security model of, of the blockchain uh, what is a Merkle tree so here I've done some nice diagrams so Merkle tree visually explain uh, then difference between the UTXO system and the account model. So that's the difference between Bitcoin and Ethereum blockchain, basically. And actually, surprisingly, a lot of developers don't know that. So, yeah, if you're curious, check it out. Uh, yeah, public versus private blockchain. So private blockchain is it sounds a little bit weird, but it actually exists, especially in the world of enterprise blockchain. So it's good if you can explain it. Uh, then I, I compare a uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum and with uh, different figures and, um, and different characteristic. So it's a good summary of the two of the differences and what is the, the scaling problem. So the scaling problem is like uh, one th something that we talk about a lot in the world of blockchain, but actually some people don't really know what it means and it can have different uh, definition and and finally, I uh, also explain what is gas in Ethereum. Uh, yes, we probably you probably heard of what is gas in smart contract, but there are a lot of confusion on what is gas. And in, in this article, I explain simply what it is. All right, that's it for this article. Then, uh, yeah, I made a video on how to deploy a hey, DAP to up. Oh, that's episode. me talking. Uh, by the way, I had some comments about my T-shirt in this video. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a funny T-shirt. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this video is going to show you how to deploy a DAP to the Loom Plasma Champ. So Loom is this site scaling sidechain solution for Ethereum that's specific, particularly game developer. And recently they released a tutorial on Medium and I turn it into a video and it's a, it's a good way to get into Loom and they're going to start the release the first product in a couple of months. And so you'll be able to pay to get your DAP deploy on one of their side chain and users will, uh, your, your user will not have to pay for transactions. That's the big benefit. Okay, uh, then I release also another video which is the step eight on the a series on how to build a to-do list DAP on Ethereum. Uh, so I've already released the, the written tutorial like about one month ago, but I forgot to include the video. So I corrected this. So if you've done the previous episode, then you can check out this video. Otherwise, if you don't know this series, then you can take it from the beginning. It's in uh, one of the playlists of my channel. You will find it easily. Um, and also don't forget about my book. Uh, so basically I turned the series into a book. Uh, 
Uh, so there is the same chapters that there are on YouTube, plus two bonus chapters that will be released very soon. All right. And then there is a new release of Solidity. So this is the release note, and there are a lot of uh, breaking changes. So you do need to check out in detail what are those breaking changes to make sure that your smart contract will, will still work. And there is a link from the release note to the, the official documentation of Solidity where uh, they, they give more a uh, detailed explanation on what are all these changes. And in particular, they show you somewhere how to, uh, how to convert, how, how to still work with smart contract that were compiled with all Solidity code. So that is something that you will certainly need to do. So that's quite interesting. And by the way, I've also released an article on Eat the Blocks like a couple of weeks ago on, let me find it, on uh, about the upcoming uh, changes of Solidity. So let me find it, a second page. Yeah, new features in Solidity. Uh, so it's basically a summary of the release notes. So if you're in a hurry, you can just read my article, but otherwise you should read this in the official doc of Solidity. All right, uh, let's get back to the newsletter. And then I find this nice video about Drizzle. Hello everybody to this. So this features Tim Coulter, which is the creator of Truffle, and also another developer who is the creator of Drizzle, the, the front-end uh, framework for smart contract. And the, the host is someone from Microsoft. So I don't know if you heard about this, but these days Microsoft has some sort of partnership with Truffle and they, they started to release some product uh, targeting especially Truffle. So that's why they're making this video. And in this video, the, uh, the team culture and the other dev explain what is the Truffle suite, but more specifically how Drizzle fits in, uh, in the suite of tools of, of Truffle and why they created the uh, Drizzle, what's the, what's the story of, of Drizzle. So, so apparently the, the developer of Drizzle, um, he started uh, to develop this outside of Truffle and he showed it on Reddit. And at some point, uh, the guy from Truffle saw it and, and, and thought that that was really great. And so that's how the, the guy got hired. And, and so now they're, they're working on it. Uh, by the way, uh, Drizzle is, um, si can simplify your life a lot to communicate with a smart contract, but unfortunately, the tutorials of Drizzles are not that great. So in my ebook that I showed you just before, I will release an extra chapter in one week or two that will show you how to refactor the to-do list DAP with Drizzle. So you might want to check out the ebook. Then, there is a very interesting article that introduced uh, the 0x launch kit. So first, what is 0x? So 0x is this protocol for trading ERC20 token. So this is something that is very used in the world of decentralized exchanges. This is actually the most popular uh, trading protocol and everybody can build a DEX based on a 0x protocol. Uh, you can also use their open source software to deploy your DEX, but deploying your own DEX is not that easy. So the good people at, uh, at Zero X created this tool that you can use to quickly get started with just a few instructions and you won't need to actually understand in detail how the software work. And I think that it uses Docker uh, the launch kit, let me see, get started. So GitHub, I'm pretty sure you use Docker. Yes, so okay, so that's a Docker image. So that means that the deployment will be quite easy. And then you have you have some, uh, yeah, so Yarn, some instruction with Yarn. And and then also they explain you how you can communicate with, with the backend because uh, there are already some existing client. So I'm actually thinking of maybe making a tutorial on how to do this specific task. So if this is something that you would be interested in, please put in the comment, yes, Julian, please make a tutorial about this. And you 
your vote will be taken into consideration. Then I find this uh, great article which, uh, about uh, decentralized exchanges. So overview of decentralized exchanges uh, and digital assets. So this is a very long research about the world of, uh, of DEX and it's extremely comprehensive. So it talks about participants, it talks about um, uh, kind of, of DEX, it talks about uh, technology, it talks about uh, legal uh, implication, it talks about trading. So that's probably one of the best article on, on DEX that I ever read, if not the best. So I highly suggest you to have a look at it, even though I have to admit it's a little bit long to read, but it's worth it. Then Unity and Ethereum, why and how? Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to build a gaming dApp with Unity using the .NET tools. So .NET, so that means that's on Windows. And so you will be using C Sharp and, uh, and Unity and you will be deploying on an Ethereum client which is called Netherium. So that's uh, an implementation that is written in C Sharp. So this will probably be attractive for to people who work on Windows because actually most game developers, they work on Windows, they don't work on Mac, they don't work on Linux because most of the gamers, they are also on Windows. And, uh, and yeah, and I find this tutorial really interesting because it combines uh, Unity and Ethereum and this is something that we will see coming more and more, especially from uh, next year. There is like a, a lot of, of gamers now who are considering launching the gaming dApp on Ethereum more and more and, and there are some people who work on some integration with Unity, the famous uh, gaming framework. So if you're into games, that might be something that you want to keep a look at. And then a tutorial on how to query Ethereum balances in BigQuery. So a couple of weeks ago, about one month ago, Google released a news saying that they will release a public API to query the Ethereum blockchain. And in this API, you can basically use uh, a sort of dialect of, uh, of SQL. And so in this tutorial, uh, they show you how to query the, uh, the top 10 uh, address on the Ethereum blockchain that have the, 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 the largest balance. And so that's great because you can interact with the Ethereum blockchain with SQL. So you don't have to deal with uh, all the intricacies of the um, of, of the ethereum api so so that's why i really like this stuff and i'm actually i'm curious like has any of you already used this bigquery uh api of google and if yes like what do you think uh, is it uh is it good is it interesting and what kind of things it will allow you to do uh, i'm thinking that for a project that do some blockchain an analysis then maybe that they could query the, um, the, this API of Google in the back end and you will make, make the job much easier. Uh, and then the last week of this, this week is uh, all the videos of Def DEFCON 4 are available on this website, slideslive.com. Slides um and yeah and um and and so so if you didn't have a chance to go to to defcon 4 then you can just check out these videos and what i like about their video is that uh, let's click on one of them is that usually yeah so we can see it here so you can see the slides on the the right and you can see the video on the left which is something that you usually don't see on other similar videos on youtube so you can actually really follow the talk quite easily and also i find the recording to be really high quality uh, the video is good the sound is good uh so yeah i really enjoy uh watching these videos and there are actually two videos that i wanted to tell you about uh, let me scroll down and what uh, so one was on MetaMask. Let me see if I can find it. 
so he was talking about the the roadmap of MetaMask. Uh, yeah, evolving the ecosystem and MetaMask roadmap. So I really like that one. And I also like the video just below, making sense of layer two, so uh, layer two solution. There are uh, project like Loom Network, uh, POA Network, and they are in another category than uh, things like uh, Casper, um, Ethereum 2.0, Sharding, etc. So, so you can check out these videos. They are 30 minutes long. They are they are not boring. The um, the speakers are, are quite good. Uh, uh, brilliant guys. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed um, checking this video and I haven't finished it probably. It's gonna take me another week before I finish all of this. All right. Um, also, as usual, if you haven't subscribed to the newsletter yet, make sure you put your email uh, in this box here and you click on the subscribe button and then I will send you every week the newsletter of Eat the Blocks with the test the, the 10 best link for Ethereum DAP developers. Thanks for watching guys and see you for the next video. Bye bye.